Perfume Mafia. It's Valentine the Perfume Don back at you with another fragrance video. So if you saw my recent video, I already told you guys the most affordable fragrances for the summer that you need to have in your collection right now. But I left out some really nice designer scents that I want to share with you guys that I think are really nice, refreshing, perfect for the summer. And this is the best season for these fragrances. This is the season. It's already getting really hot. I think it's going to be a really hot summer. So you want to have the perfect scents to complement that hot weather. And I have some good picks in front of me. I want to give you only five. I want to give you only five. But I was like, you know what? You guys deserve so much more. So thank you so much for supporting me. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe bell, okay? Don't you love smelling good, feeling good, living good, living good? If you do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Yes, as you know, we already have the co-host of this show, My Trash. My Trash is always in the shot. I wanted to do something about that, but oh well. Oh well. I hope you guys don't have like mega vision because my purse is right there. I wonder if somebody could like zoom in and get my car number. But look, I told you guys, wouldn't get far. All right, let's hop into this. Let's get into the first fragrance that you guys need designer scents for the summer. And that's going to be one that people have been blazing about. This one has really been blazing up the streets, okay? This is from one of my favorite fragrance houses. And I might do a video on that as well. One of my favorite fragrance houses is Moogler. Love it. And this is Moogler. Which one is this? You know, they all look so similar. This is a flanker of Alien. This is Alien Oh Sublime. Okay, it's an EDT of the Toilette. But don't let that deter you because the performance on this genre, oh my God. I have to spritz myself. I'm about to take a shower and everything, but I just have to. Oh my God, it smells so nice. It smells a little bit like citrus, but it has like a creamy powder floral comforting type of a scent. This is actually a very nice daytime scent. Kind of smells like, I think a lot of people will say that this is actually fresh and clean. It has an oriental element that adds a little bit like a grown woman sexiness to it. But yeah, this is very beautiful. Citrus, floral, oriental, sexy. Sexy summer, refreshing. It's not going to turn sour when it gets really hot because you know it's about to get really hot, 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 hot in here. But this one is going to be right there with you, okay? So that's the first one. Alien, Moogler Alien. Oh Sublime EDT, okay? You could easily get tripped up by Moogler because you know, they like to switch it up on us. The next one that I think is perfect for the summer, actually it came out last summer, but I love it so much and I'm gonna be rocking it this summer because I didn't finish mine. If you want a new one, you already have this one. They do have a new flanker out that smells like a freaking margarita. It has like tequila, lime, citrus type stuff. But we're talking about last year's from Escada. I think they are the queens, the royalty of summer scents. This is Miami Blossom. Love this scent. Very nice, almost like a sweet citrus type scent. And the star of this scent is going to be pineapple. Amazing. You want to smell like a pineapple? That's what the girls are talking about. Some pineapples, pineapples. Women need to smell like pineapples, but you can smell like a pineapple for real with this scent. I love it so much. You know what? We're going to spray this one too. We're going to smell like good. Yes, this is actually such a fun, fruity type scent. It literally smells like a fruit salad. I love this scent so much. This is a compliment getter. Performance, not a, you know, this, this is performance right here. This is performance right here. This one, not so much, but you, you're going to love it so much. You're not going to mind respraying it throughout the day. So, Escada Miami Blossom. Since it came out last year, I think you can find a really, really good deal. So, keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes tuned to the streets, all right? The next one that we have is another one that came out last year, but I hope you guys can still find it because I really like it. This is from Marc Jacobs. And actually, Marc Jacobs, just look at his house because he has a lot of fragrances that are really, really, really good for the summer, okay? He usually likes to do a summer exclusive as well. This came out last year. Flanker of Daisy. This is Daisy Oh So Fresh Sunshine, okay? You can tell by the bottle. This is made for the sun. This is made to shine. Nice citrus, almost a zesty element, but it has like some white florals in there that makes it so feminine. Perfect for young girls. Like get some comments, young girls looking for their first scent. This is a beautiful one. Or just look for Marc Jacobs in general because very nice scents. This is one of my favorite. I actually don't even touch this one anymore unless you a special, special somebody that I'm going to hang out with because it is limited edition. It's so hard to find right now. And look, you know, I'm almost halfway through. That's how you know I like it. Most of my scents I don't even touch. I don't even touch because I have so many. But this one really got some love. Check it out. Zesty Citrus white floral, feminine, fun, youthful, playful, bouncy, juicy type scent. Like that one a lot. The next one that we have is going to be something that's a little bit more demure, it's a little bit laid back, 
you don't always want to send this knocking people out okay this is from isa miyaki i just love saying it lord this is pure i love saying that it's like i have like an accent or something but yeah this one is so we're just gonna be smelling like everything a nice light floral this one is actually very tricky okay all of isa miyaki scents are very tricky because they're light they're inoffensive they're not in your face but when i tell you it does have sillage and performance it's not a monster but you're going to get whiffs of it throughout the day people are going to be like hmm, what's that subtle scent it just smells like a light floral scent that's what this smells like oh i love it so much it's so beautiful it smells so nice light floral very feminine and innocent kind of a scent it's quiet but it lasts all day that's hard to find but that's what i find it's a miyaki's scents in general and i really like this one it's a little bit stronger than the og the one that comes in the clear uh bottle but yeah love their scents great for the summer because you kind of need that warmth of the heat to heat them up to ignite those scents okay the next one i actually rocked yesterday and i was like why do i never reach for you girl you're bomb this is another one of my favorite fragrance houses this is from chloe okay this is love story oh sensual let me make sure because you know i'll be no no all sensual okay love this very very nice scent but you know what right before i have a story to tell you guys you know i always got a story to tell you know i you know you know okay let me tell you guys okay so sometimes i get into some like you know spiritual type stuff but i was in my back room in my back room okay and i took some protection oil and i put on my little forehead say a little prayer yada yada yeah you know how i do what i do when i do oh also this chain is by my friend trey hope hit me up if you want one he makes amazing necklaces and this is totally appropriate for what's going on in the world right now but that's another thing okay so i was in my back room have the protection oil on myself went back into this room to do whatever on the computer just hanging out and i was like you know what i kind of want to smell something nice in here so i lit an incense i lit an incense okay and i took it and i actually took it from my bedroom back to my like spiritual hangout room put it in a ceramic bowl because you always have to have a ceramic bowl so it doesn't <laughs> baked potato almost done yum but you have to have it in a ceramic bowl to make sure that it doesn't burn anything down you can't you don't really want to put it in the any uh like plastic or something like that so just know get a ceramic bowl so it was in a ceramic bowl never had any issues ever like that in my life so i just lit it a little bit put it in the bowl i also have sage in that bowl as well like two stocks of sage when i use those but i, I put it on the side went back in here got on the computer did whatever and i was like hmm smell a little, smell a little strong and i was like doing my little thing I was like, dang, it smells a little bit strong in here, but I'm still living my life. You know, the ceiling fan was going, so it may have diluted it a little bit in here. But when I tell you that back alarm started going off, that back alarm started going off. And I was like, huh? And I started getting closer to the thing. And I was like, it's getting a little hot. It's getting a little hot in here. And I turned the corner. It was billows, 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 billows of smoke. I was like, what the heck? It was the billows of smoke in there. And I was like, oh my God. So I went and I ran to the boat. But wait, first of all, you guys have to know about me. I don't wear any shoes on this carpet right now. Really weird about that. But everywhere else in my place, I have to wear shoes. But I saw that smoke and I didn't even care about any shoes. I ran, went to the bowl, and it didn't burn. That incident had burned both stocks of sage. When I tell you they were a burning lit fire, and I was like, how did this happen? Because usually the sage takes so long to even catch flames. Like I have to always keep reigniting, reigniting, how do you say? Reigniting it. But they both cut, caught fire pretty much. And I picked that bowl up to try to take it to the bathroom i was like how i'm gonna put out this almost a freaking fire but that when i tell you that bowl was so hot burning hot burning i was like you know i can't do it i was like ah it burned my hands and then i went back in there i was like you know what i have to so i took it out put it in the sink ran some water on it and oh my god got the alarm going off and everything opened up some windows but when i go back in there i can still smell that scent and I was just like, oh my God, thank God for my life. I need to be more careful or something. But I mean, that's very careful. I just took an incense and put it in. But girl, when I tell you, this whole place smelled a little bit spiritual. 
a little bit spiritual but it's really good this is like some spiritual stuff but i didn't mean to do that but i feel like it was intentional because i've never burned sage that strong but when i say it touched every inch of this place it touched every inch of this place for me to then be able to like really cleanse the place and to open the windows to let everything out but yeah that was my experience i just had to share that with you guys your girl survived okay but anyways after that you know i was looking for some sense to get that little stonky scent out of there and i was like you know what how about this chloe love story a beautiful scent i just love chloe scents in general their whole line is all about femininity a little bit rosy i feel like they kind of have a rosy element in most in most fragrances and a little bit powdery this one i feel like has a little bit of like a zing sparkly nature to it it's a little bit powdery but like sparkly yeah it has like a spark almost like an oj it kind of reminds me of like orange juice sparkly almost like a mimosa oh yeah like a mimosa with like some rosy elements and powdery but this is very beautiful scent this is like really sexy actually this is like a i guess that's why they say oh sensual like i can totally see this on a date night a daytime no a daytime scent because you know most places you have to sit out on the patio now which is perfect for this scent i'm telling you when that man gets a whiff of this chloe love story oh sensual he's gonna be like hmm i want to know more about her Mwah. Chuch. okay the next one that we have is going to be this actually a gift from my girl on here she's a fragrance guru this is from amber chantel and she gave me dolce by dolce and gabbana and i really really like this scent and i've been waiting for summer i got this like in fall winter but i was waiting for summer to rock this fragrance because mm, it just smells like a little bit green very fresh but like clean and citrus and white florals mm, i just like it. i've actually been tuning in to a little bit more like a green kind of a scent i've been liking it but this one almost has like a granny smith apple type scent i don't know but yeah green granny smith apple floral powdery feminine delicate summertime fly all right, and then the last one's gonna be boring for you guys because you know I love this scent. I always big it up, I always big it up because it's amazing. This is Versace Yellow Diamond. I don't even need to say anything about this. If you don't have this in your collection, girl, what you doing? What are you doing? Lemon, um, Amalfi, is that how you say it? Amalfi, Amalfi, lemon, citrus, zesty, but like feminine. Very feminine, white florals in there. It's very sexy. Mm, this is an inviting scent. This is a woman. This is actually a very expansive type scent. If you want something, if you want to smell expansive in the summertime, check out this one. So, yeah, those are my picks. Those are my picks for the summer toy, summertime fly. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these. If you want to try them, if you want a more extensive review on any of those, drop it below and I'll try to get that to you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.